Meanwhile, as foreshadowed on Sunday agenda, the government has announced a review into contracts on Nauru in terms of offshore processing to be led by the respected former ASIO boss and former ambassador to Washington, Dennis Richardson. In a statement, the Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill announced Mr Richardson would conduct, quote, a review of integrity and governance arrangements for the management of regional processing contracts by the Department of Home Affairs. In recent weeks, a number of serious issues relating to the governance of contracting related to regional processing have been placed on the public record, the Minister says. Now, the review will look at the Home Affairs Department's governance arrangements for managing offshore processing, current and historic. Opposition leader Peter Dutton, a former Home Affairs Minister, returned from leave to questions posed by the government around contracts awarded on Nauru to companies which have since been accused of bribery. Mr Dutton told a press conference today the contracts were awarded by the department, not him. And if the government has any concerns, it re should refer them to the National Anti-Corruption Commission and he'll co-sign the letter on that. He says don't use it as a form of political posturing. My experience in Home Affairs, uh, from Mike Pizzullo down through to uh, those officers who are involved in uh, the liaison with PNG, with Nauru, uh, is that they are first-class public servants. If the government's just after a political opportunity here, what they'll do is announce an inquiry that just relates to uh, my time in Home Affairs when the circumstances are no different uh, since 2012. Uh, and if you want to refer it to, to the NAC, I'd be very happy to co-sign the letter with the Prime Minister. We need to avoid the idea that every politician will say to every issue, refer to the NAC. It's easy. Anyone can... The NAC will operate independently and at arm's length. 